In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create stunning AI images without any fancy hardware requirements. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create those images using Artspace AI. And with this software, everything runs on the cloud, so it's simple, fast, and accessible. I will show you step-by-step step how to create text prompts to generate AI images, how to tweak your prompt to get the most accurate image generation, how to select a specific style, and even how to edit existing images using AI tools on Artspace AI. If you want to see some examples of images generated by Artspace AI, you can jump into the main homepage and then scroll down until the bottom till you see here gallery. And you can also type in artspace.ai slash gallery to access the gallery, or you could also access it if you already have an account. So you can click here, gallery, and this will open up the gallery, which is a collection of images that were generated by users, and those users also decided to share that image. And then if you start scrolling down, you will see a ton of different examples. So let's just open an image. Right here you can see the prompt that was used, the user who shared this exact image, and you can also see some settings that were used for the image generation, such as the model, which in this case is Nova, 2024 flux, you can also see the seed, dimension, and the negative prompt used, which were blurry, watermark, text, and logo. So things not to include on that image. So let's say you want to create a similar image to this one, then you can click on copy to copy the prompt, click on continue drawing. So this will show you the main dashboard, whether you are using the expert interface or simple interface, you can then go here into the prompt, space and then paste in that prompt. If you want to include the other details that were on that image, you can go into the expert interface and then you can include here the negative prompt or copy paste them. You can also put here the seed number and so on. For this case, I'm just going to generate an image. I don't need the export mode right now, so let's just go to the simple interface and click generate. And now we have a very similar image, at least in style, to the one that we saw on the gallery. If you are just getting started, you will have an option here to sign up. I have already created an account and I am logged in, so I can click on continue drawing here at the top or on this button as well. So if I click on this, it will open up the dashboard. As you see, we have already an image right here, which I'm going to delete. So you have two options for the interface, which includes a simple interface and an expert interface. The simple interface is useful for quick image generation that doesn't need a lot of detail. So you can just put that prompt there and it will generate an image close to what you want without any extra settings. So if you have a very specific prompt that already tells what colors you want to use, what style and so on, you will be fine with the simple interface. But then for more personalized images, you should use the expert interface because this will allow you to control every single setting and detail for the image generation process. So with the expert interface, you can control the seed number, the seed image, use negative prompt, and these options will change based on the model. And you have a couple of other options at the top, Otherwise, all of the options on the left bar menu will remain the same, as well as the prompt bar right here at the bottom. And we are now going to take a look at the options at the left bar. So here you have art space. So this will take you to the home page. Then you have the gallery, and this will allow you to access the gallery that I have just shown you previously with a couple of examples of users and what prompts they have used to generate their images. So if you need inspiration, you should check out the gallery. Then you have the get started button, and this will show you all resources from Artspace AI and posts to help you generate better AI images and every single detail about using the software. So you have here editing techniques to edit your images with AI, you have advanced editing and optimization, drawing, visual text, ends and more, 
creatives, marketing, and monetization, and here some comparisons with other AI tools. Then here we have a button to access the blog, and this will have plenty of articles and posts about generating AI images and the software as well. Then you have membership. This is where you can manage your subscription, licenses, you can see how many images you have generated per month if your license does have a limit and you can also generate an API key to integrate Artspace AI with Copyspace AI or other software. So you can then make calls to that API to generate images. You also have a community button here and this will open the private Facebook group where you can get some ideas for image generation and some more content regarding Artspace AI. Then lastly, you have here the affiliate program. In this page, you can click on become an affiliate and then you can join the affiliate program. So if you enjoy and like the software, whether that's Artspace AI or Copyspace AI, you can record a video, write a blog post or create content on social media and then include your affiliate link and make some commissions. The simple interface is the easiest way to generate AI images because it only requires a prompt and then you select a format and you click on the blue button to generate an image. So you can insert a prompt right here where it says what would you like to draw. I've just grabbed a quick example from the gallery again to generate a different image. So let's go with this one which is quite long and specific. And then if I click on here, I have two main formats or aspect ratios, which is one by one and 16 by nine with preset resolutions. On the previous image, we used 16 by nine. So let's now just try the one by one. Now here we have the generated image. You can click on this button here with the cloud to download and save the image to any folder on your device. Or you can click here on the cross to remove that image. Now we will take a look at the expert interface. So here you have two additional menus, one at the top, which is this toolbar that gives you access to some quick options like downloading images, deleting elements and so on. And then you also have a settings bar at the right, which has some options for generating images like negative prompt, seed number and so on. And those will change depending on the selected model. Right at the center of the screen, you can see this space here, which is called a Canva. And this is where you will be generating images and then managing what you've just generated. You can drag those around with a left mouse click, or you can navigate through the Canva using the middle button or the scroll wheel. And of course, you can also use those same exact tools by using the toolbar at the top, which we are going to cover later on. You also have this box right here with a white border. And when you generate an image, this will be filled, but this is called a white box. And this is the space that will be filled with your AI image. So if you want to control the sizes and all of that stuff, you can use that white box. So you click here on the resolution, which currently is 1200 by 800. And then here you can change the resolution of your white box and therefore your image. So you have default, full HD, ultra wide, portrait HD, 4K, max, and you have the custom options to set the image with the size that you want. Another way to adjust the size is to click here and then you will see these dots. You click on one of those and then you can also increase the size that way as well. If the aspect ratio of this white box is not compatible with image generation, then instead of the white border, you will see a red border. I just generated a new image to show you how the toolbar works. So right here you have an undo and redo option so that you won't lose any of your changes. If at any time you add something that you don't want to, you click on undo and that will undo that change on your images or canvas. We also have here the history button, which also lets you go through all of the changes, but you can see exactly what type of images I have generated previously. And then you can go here, click on recover. And as you can see, the previous image will load up or at least the prompt. So then you can use that prompt to generate an image. You can also delete the images that you don't need anymore. 
by clicking on delete and you can also see all of the other data so if you want to use that prompt but you don't want to use that size you want to use a different size that you used previously then you can go here and just copy the prompt you can see also the dimensions the seed used if you want a similar image a thumbnail and the model you use to generate that image and if you are struggling to find it because you already have thousands of images here then you can use the search bar to find what you want so if i enter here a search term then it will show all of those images that have this keyword in the prompt so now let's close this now we have the formulas. This is a very cool option that's only available on the expert interface. What this will do is create prompts from scratch or improve your existing prompts to get a more detailed image. As we know, AI for image generation still needs a lot of advancement. And so the best way to get the most accurate results possible is to be very specific on your image. So here you can go and put here a subject. So it can be a person, a symbol, an animal, and then you can select from a bunch of different styles. So here we have diesel punk, fractal, ancient art. So let's select a few of these. So let's put in here ancient art and medieval art. Then you can also select some artists. And what this will do is take existing art from those artists and use similar elements or styles on your image generation. So you have here a huge list of artists that you can choose from. So here is Van Gogh, Banksy. You then also have formats. Currently we have illustration, comic book art, and you have a lot of different options here. So you can even generate images to be used on products. For example, if you click on book cover, you will get a book cover. You could even generate advertising posters, album art covers, and there's really a lot of options here. So let's go with illustration and comic book art. You then have the boosters. So you have options like Vivid, rendering 4K, and this can actually impact the quality of the image. That's why it is called a booster. Then you also have vibes. So this will affect the colors, the background and all of that stuff. And you have plenty of options like fantasy, futuristic, awesome, blur, bold, brash, bright character and so on. And then there's perspectives and this will affect the way that the image is generated. So you can make it look like a realistic photograph taken with a macro or something else. So you have, for example, an aerial view. Let's try that one. Now here you have the preview. So if you click on inspire, it will refresh the prompt and actually use other options. Now you can click on close to close this window. You can clear everything if you want to generate an entirely different image or you can click apply. If you click apply, then you will see the prompt we just generated using the formulas right here at the bottom. And now we can click on the blue button to generate an image using that formula. So the formulas are actually very helpful to generate unique images that still have a lot of detail. And here we have an image that matches our prompt. Here you have an eraser tool and this will allow you to delete elements from an image and you can also adjust the size of it. So let's say that in this image I want to remove some of the background. I can go here and start removing it. And now here as you can see this will still preserve the white box. Now I don't really want to remove that so let's go back and now we have the entire image. Now you have the clear option with this brush icon and if you click here you will have multiple options to delete stuff on your canvas. To select an image you can click on the image itself and then you would go here and click clear and this will have two options so you can clear the selected image or clear the entire canvas. Clearing the entire canvas will of course delete all of the images that you have here on the screen and if you click clear selected image it will delete that image. I don't want to do so so I just clicked on the undo button. Then you have an option to upload to the gallery and this gallery is the gallery that I have showed you on the beginning of the video where users can see what images other users of Artspace AI generated and take a look at their prompts to get some ideas. So you can click on that image, click here 
to upload to the gallery and that will upload it to the gallery. You can click confirm and then other users will find your image there. Then you have the upload option. So if you want to edit your own photos that you have on your system and were not generated by this tool, then you can click on upload, drag and drop an image here or click on it and it will allow you to select a location and a file to upload to Artspace AI and start editing. And then once you are done, you can click on the download button and this will allow you to download the images. So you can download the selected image in a PNG file you can download all the images as a collage. So this will put all images in a single image or file. And then you have download all images individually. So if you want access to each one of the images for different stuff, then you would use this option, download the zip file and then unzip it to get access to all the individual images, which will be very useful if you have generated, let's say 10 to 20 images or more. Now let's hit close. In the toolbar, if you go to the right corner, you can zoom in, zoom out and move your images or canvas. So first here, if you zoom in or out, which you can also do with the scroll wheel in your mouse, this percentage here will change so that you know how much you've zoomed in and you can use these buttons to zoom out or zoom in as well if you prefer it that way. You can also zoom the art box. So this will zoom in into your selected art box, also known as the white box. And then if you want to see all of the images you've generated on your canvas, then you can click on zoom fit and this will show you a view or overview of everything. So if you have a lot of images, those will appear very small. You can also use this move button to move across the canvas or just like I've mentioned, you can also use the scroll wheel. You would press it and then you can move your canvas or navigate around your canvas. And if you leave the mouse scroll wheel, then it will stop. Now let's take a look at some of the AI image editing features. First, let's edit out an element of this image and try to replace it with something else. So first we need to erase the element that we want to change. So let's say that I want to replace this earring. So let's delete that. Now we need to grab the art box and resize it to fit the space of the element we just deleted. So let's bring this here. We can make it a bit smaller. And now we just type in something we want to add, an earring, and now just click on generate. And that's it. Now we have a new earring that was just generated here, which as you can see is a lot brighter than the previous one. You can do this on images with smaller elements. You can also, for example, change the eyes, glasses, air, all of that stuff. But of course you would have a little bit more work as you need to remove the element that's already present there and do the same exact process that I've just showed you. So let's say we have an image, but we want to make it bigger. We can go and click on that image, then click on here where it says magic. And then you have a couple of different options. We are just going to click on upscale and then we can wait and we will have a 4K image that's much higher in size and resolution. And so we have that exact same image. You can also remove backgrounds within Artspace AI. So you don't need to use a third party tool. You would just go into the image, click on magic. And then here you would go into the last option, which is remove background. And now you can see we have the exact same image with the background removed and it is almost a perfect implementation. You don't see any jaggy edges, everything is smoothed out. To get access to a Artspace AI lifetime deal, you can click the link down in the description and for $57, you'll get access to 250 AI image generations per month and all of the other features. But if you are looking for something else like generating images with AI locally, then you can check my video about Amuse AI, which is an application that you can install if you have an AMD GPU on your system and it will work almost flawlessly. You don't need any complicated configuration 
or visiting GitHub, looking for web UIs, and then make sure it works on your GPU. Now you just install an app, you click on it, and then you can select a couple of models and start generating images easily. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.